right, hello everyone. Welcome back to Routine Hub. This is the fourth episode of our Roundup series. And um, let's jump right into it. Today we have two really cool shortcuts from the r slash shortcuts subreddit that were then uploaded to Routine Hub. We check out those posts here. This one's called Focus Timer from E10 with a dot. Um, very cool shortcut here. As you can see here, it's been posted to Routine Hub. Let's check out that link. All right, here it is on Routine Hub by E10 with a dot. Check out their profile real quick. 15 shortcuts already at 1K, sorry, 14,000 downloads. Wow. If we check out their profile here, already at 15 shortcuts with over 14,000 downloads. Very cool stuff. Be sure to check these out. We'll be sure to link their page in the description. So if we go back to this shortcut focus timer, um, you can turn on focus for a specific period of time with this. So if we get into it, uh, here's a bunch of documentation, but it's pretty simple to set up. If we go ahead and press get shortcut, let's add it to our gallery here. Set it up. You can configure it with different parameters if you'd like. 15 minute inter intervals, 30 minutes, 60 minutes, custom minutes until specified time. Awesome. So if we go ahead and run the shortcut here, you can see we have a drop down menu that can check. We can pick a specific time. I'm going to do 30 minutes. And there we go. Just like that. Do not disturb is on for 30 minutes. Exactly. Again, if we go back here, we can change it to custom minutes. I can even do, let's say I need specifically 23 minutes. And there it goes. Focus timer is on for 23 minutes. Huge shout out to, to E10 without a dot. E, sorry, E10 with a dot for uploading this and updating it just the other day. The second shortcut we have here from Routine Hub is going to be extract text from image. This one is supposed to work up to iOS 15. Um, it uses Apple's OCR to extract text from an image. So how this works is it extracts the text from the image, copies the, to the iOS clipboard. Uh, it also counts total number of characters extracted and splits into 1000 character segments in case you have a really large block of text that you need to sort through. Um, after it copies it to your clipboard, you can then paste it into a notes app or wherever else you see fit. Um, so if we go ahead and press get shortcut here. Let's run this. All right, now it should appear in our share sheet. So if I open up our of my photos here, I have a screenshot from Google, just shortcuts. So if I go ahead and run this, OCR helper, there it is. Let's go ahead and run that. Yeah, and as you can see here, it's going to save it to a note. Very cool. So if we open up our notes, there it is. You can see right here, 731. And it copied all of the text from that screenshot into an Apple note for us. Really cool stuff here. Huge, huge shout out to Eustace on Routine Hub. Four shortcuts and already at almost two, uh, 300 downloads. Very cool stuff from him. Be sure to check their, the rest of their shortcuts out on the, in the description. Uh, as always, thanks for tuning in to the Routine Hub Shortcut Roundup. This has been the fourth episode. If there are any shortcuts of yours you'd like to see in the next episode, or future episodes, please feel free to send them to me, tag me in the Reddit, post them on Routine Hub, make your account if you have not, and we'll reach out and be sure to show uh, showcase your work in the next one. Thanks everyone.